everybody, Witty here. I'm back from Adepticon. I had such a good time. I'm very excited to tell you guys more about it. But today, I just wanted to do a quick and cozy little video unboxing the things that I got in my Adepticon swag bag. So last year, you may have seen I made a video actually in my hotel room at Adepticon in the Renaissance, sitting on my floor, taking a break from the craziness that is Adepticon and just sort of, you know, showing off all the stuff that came with that bag. So I thought I would do it again. And I had this idea to do it in the exact same way, to be sitting on the hotel room floor. But the morning that I was planning on filming that, I actually forgot to set an alarm and I had a bit of a Kevin McAllister moment and uh, had to pack my bags and get ready to check out instead. So I just hauled everything home without looking at it and figured that we would just sit down and we would check it out together right now. So let's get into it. So the first thing did not even fit in the bag and they handed it to me separately. So I have already seen it, but it is this Clash of Steel German versus British complete starter set of tanks. I believe there's, yeah, there's 17 tanks in here. Um, these things are getting bashed. These things are gonna be rusty and musty and dusty and crusty and I'm very, very excited. I don't know anything about historical miniatures. It's not really my bag, but these are really cool and I'm excited to get into them. It was also really fun because when I was picking this up, I was wearing a Night Thirst sweatshirt and the guy who was handing these to me was like, oh, hey, Night Thirst, that's that new game from Black Side Studios. And I was like, I wrote that game. And he was like, you wrote that game? And I was like, yes, come by, I'll give you a demo. It was so cool. All right, let's see what's in this bad boy. This is easier on the floor, actually. <laughs> All right, first off, we have a book. I wish I knew how to read. Uh, the Terran Consensus by Scott Washburn. We got a book about aliens. Nice. Whoa, speaking of aliens, okay. Look at these little Star Wars guys. Oh my gosh, that's some Shatterpoint minis. Yub Nub Squad Pack. That's so cute. I love Ewoks. You know who really loves Star Wars? Mama Gob. I'm gonna paint I'm gonna paint my mom some Ewoks. Oh my gosh, C3PO and R2D2. Okay, my mom's really gonna love this. This is exciting. I'm excited because I've seen a lot of Shatterpoint minis and they all look nice. They look fun to paint. I'm really looking forward to painting these. Pretty cool. Painting miniatures as gifts is so much fun. We got, oh, a Victoria miniatures mini. Ooh, she's badass. Nice. Look at her. That's awesome. Victoria miniatures is so cool. Nice. Okay, we got some battle tech, nice. One random mech, oh, we don't know what's in there. Okay, I am such a sucker for a blind box, this is exciting. And I have had mechs on the mind ever since my Flames of Orion victory at Under the Dice Fest and then getting to play at mech 28 at Adepticon. Yeah. All right, what, which one did we get? We got a random mech. I love blind boxes so much. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who did we get? What did we get? Ooh, I like this one. Look at this funky little dude. If you're a Battletech person, you'll probably be able to tell me what this is, but I like this. I'm excited to paint this one up. Mechs are so cool. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got, what's this? He's cool. Little, like cyber looking dude. Let's look at him. You know what I'm seeing a lot in here too is like so far already some kit bash potential. He's fun. Okay, cool. I like his cape. I like this guy. That's cool. Yeah, lately for some reason I've been super into like cyberpunk stuff and mech stuff, so. We've also got Kings of War, the game of fantasy battles sample pack. 20 plus playable factions from Mantic games. Okay, let's look at here. A sample pack. You know what that sounds like to me? Kit bash potential. I never played Halo. All right, here we go. Whoa. Oh, hell yeah. We got some like monstrous, like fleshy bodies. I see some maws. I see some like goopy, oh my gosh, like goopy muscly guys. Oh yeah, there's some really good kit bash stuff in here. Here, I don't know if I can, how well I can show this to you. Yeah, we got some real cool bits in here. We got some goopy kind of tentacly, muscly nasties. Okay, this is very cool. Wow, okay, so when I was looking at Kings of War, 
I was thinking, you know, way more like medieval-y classic stuff. This is awesome. Ooh. We got a sprue of what? Just some people, some humans. What are these from? Warlord games. Just looks like some people, which are useful. Oh, are they all ladies? Kit bash, potential. Some kind of looks like a zombie. Oh, we got some zombie ladies. Oh, look, you can give them a purse. I can use these as prey in night thirst. Um, how would you pronounce this? <laughs> a book. Adepticon, world's premier wargaming convention. It's a little advertisement magazine. I feel like there's some cool things for me to collage in here. We got another book. Penny Dreadful Through the Breach, A Stitch in Time. Penny Dreadful. Why does that name sound so familiar? That's a TV show, isn't it? It's fun. We got... More Star Wars. Sunfac and Poggle the Lesser. These, oh my gosh, you wanna talk about kit bashing? Look at these guys. Oh, hell yeah. They got some weird insectoid bodies, some funky faces. Ooh, I just dropped everything. Also, a name like Poggle the Lesser. That's great. I love that. Heck yeah. Do you remember that Star Wars movie where they had a gladiator ring and all the different like alien animals were coming out? That was one of my favorite parts of that movie as a kid. I remember just being so entranced by the aliens. No wonder I like making weird kit ash creatures. I'm very excited. I really like this. Look at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Bishop and Nightcrawler? That's fun. Freaking MCP minis. We've got a lot of people in the goblin gang that paint MCP minis and they put them in the discord and I always love seeing them. They look like a lot of fun. Look at that. That's cool. Do you play MCP? It sounds like fun. Who's this? Nub, the dwarf sausage maker. What? I'm sorry, what? Oh my God, he's back too. I want to see Nub. Nub! He's a dwarf sausage maker? That's so fun. I want to paint my D&D party soon, and I feel like I should just paint this guy as well and give him to my brother, my, my DM, and say, hey, anytime you want a sausage maker NPC, you got one. You got one ready to go. I like that. Hey, we got some turbo dork paint. Dabadi. The turbo dork booth is so fun to see at conventions because you look and you're just dazzled by all these colors. Oh, and a coupon. Although Turbo Dark did the other day send me their entire new paint line. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So maybe I will include this in a giveaway that I do sometime. I think that would be good because I do have this one. We got a big box. I've been purposefully not looking at it. Age of Sigmar Vanguard Blades of Corn. Look at these dudes. That's a lot of plastic. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. That's really fun. So that's 24 miniatures in here. We got Blood Reavers, we got Blood Warriors, we got Mighty Skull Crushers. Fun. There's a lot of very cool kit bash potential in this. These guys are pretty cool. A lot of muscles. Look at these guys. Look at all this potential. Look at these dudes. That's crazy. We got some more little guys in here. We got a deck of playing cards. Nice. Always handy. We were, um... Oh wait, that's a secret project. I can't tell you about that. Never mind. <gasps> Who's this cool lady? Freeblades Scrounger. She's fun. Here, let me take her out so I can show you. Be good for D and D and stuff. It's a piece of my own hair. Look. Nice. She'll be great for D and D. Whoa. Badger Games, Regiment Games, Orcs from the Void. Oh my God, this is really fun. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I love big, heavy, stupid minis. And I love orcs. Look at this guy's face. Oh my God. <laughs> That's awesome. What a little guy. And then, oh, we got a little Adepticon pin. Squad marks, magnetize and organize your tabletop miniatures. I have really been meaning to magnetize my minis. Do you magnetize your minis? I should mag I should magnetize my minis. Especially because I'm gonna be going to way more conventions this year. Yeah. We got stickers and cards. I have so many stickers from my friends. I am so excited. It really does feel like, you know, in grade school, you have Valentine's and you give everyone a Valentine. That's how it feels handing out stickers at Adepticon. I love them so much. Um, I have a bunch on my bits box now and I'm going to put a lot of them on my carry cases for my miniatures. I just, I love it. Elric's Hobbies. 
What do we got in here? We got some little bitty bits. We got a base. We got some metal heads. We got some little gems to put on things. Just some random basey bits. That's fun. I'm gonna add it to my basing, my little basing bin. And that's the swag bag this year. This was a lot of stuff. This is a lot of plastic. I think I'm most excited probably for the tanks. I'm very excited for the kit bash potential of those Star Wars guys. I really like their segmented bodies pretty cool. Those blades of corn guys, very fun. It will be nice to kind of have, I don't really have a ton of like muscly bodies to use for kit bashes. So that will be, those will be my muscly boys. I have some cute Ewoks to paint for my mom. She's gonna really like those. Overall, I'm happy with it. I like it. I totally forget how much the VIB, I think they called it something different this year. I totally forget how much this like extra bonus bag uh, badge was. So I'm gonna put the cost of it right there and you can decide if you think that's worth it or not. It is really fun to be given miniatures and things like this and paints and stuff that maybe you weren't going to purchase necessarily. It sort of forces you to think like, okay, what am I gonna do with this? I know that some people like to trade and swap these things. Um, but you know, for me, everything is kit bash potential. Everything is, or a gift potential, you know, so. I'm really happy with this. So there you have it. I'm going to talk about Adepticon more in another video, but I just wanted to show you guys what was in that swag bag. Honestly, it made me really nostalgic to get it because last year, you know, that was one of the first YouTube videos that I ever made. And it was my first Adepticon and it was just a silly little video and, but you guys seem to like it and I wanted to do it again. And it really got me thinking about everything that's happened between this Adepticon and the last and it sounds dramatic, but literally everything is different. I think when I went to Adepticon last year, I had 100 subscribers on YouTube, and now we're pushing 10,000 subscribers on here, so thank you so much. We're gonna do a fun little video to celebrate that. I did a poll on here, and it looks like you guys are going to suggest what kind of thing I should make, and then I'm gonna have to roll on a table to see, so that'll be really fun. Um, you know, I'm a Twitch partner now. I wasn't last year. I wasn't a published game designer, which I am now. And I got to demo my game at Adepticon, which was super special. Just so many things have changed and all for the better. And I'm just so excited to see what's next. I'm so grateful. My heart is so full, not to get like super mushy on you guys, but I just, I don't know, just this silly little unboxing videos really got me thinking about how a lot of things change in a year. So. Who knows what Adepticon 2025 is going to look like? Who knows what life is going to be at that point? I just know that we're going to do it together and I'm so excited to find out. So thank you guys so much as always for hanging out with me today. I know that this is a wide, crazy internet and you could be watching anything right now. So if you're still here at this point in the video, wow, you're awesome and I appreciate you so much. Um, I'm going to go put this stuff away and start scheming up some kit bashes. But in the meantime, don't forget that you are currently making the world a better place just by being you. It's like your superpower. So keep doing that. Bye guys.